the average heart rate for a teenager is between 60 to 100 beats per minute. Jenna McCormick's was 30 to 40 beats a minute. Jenna McCormick grew up in Monticello and was a three-sport athlete in high school. Her junior year, her peers and she began to notice signs of a slower heartbeat. It was a very personal relationship um, when I had relationships with my teachers at that high school. So they would know. They would know when I would ha be having a bad day and stuff. That year, she started to see Dr. Leonard Steinberg at Ascension St. Vincent in Indianapolis. There, she was diagnosed with bradycardia, which is a slow heart rate. When we deal with slow heart rhythms, a lot of times it's the result of a previous cardiac surgery. But Jenna's never had any surgeries before this. She just had a slow heart rhythm. After graduation, she began attending Indiana University. Since beginning classes, she says her symptoms were getting worse. I would often be falling asleep in class and I'd become fresh with myself because education, my education is very important to me. Um, she was experiencing a lot of fatigue just from walking to her, uh, from her dorm to classes. The first option to fix this would be to give her a pacemaker at 21 years old. For me, um, lacking the quality of life due to the condition, I was like struggling a lot, but I was very stubborn in the fact that I was just not going to have a pacemaker. Dr. Steinberg says it wasn't his first choice either. He says Jenna's unique type of slow heart rate made her a candidate for a relatively new surgery called a cardioneuroablation. It would be his first time performing the surgery. You know, we were clear that we weren't 100% sure that this was going to work, but it was a very low risk procedure. And we thought that uh, if there was even a chance that it would work, it certainly outweighed the... Um, the option of living with a pacemaker. After the hours long procedure, Jenna says she feels a lot better. I got all A's. I got my first 4.0 in college. I can say with a hundred percent, I would not have been able to do that if I didn't have the surgery then. We were super proud that she's such a hard worker and that she was willing to take this risk, not really knowing if it would work for her or how it would work for her. <laughs> so, I mean, she's just an incredible kid. She really is. Jenna's thankful for everybody who helped her throughout her process. I don't think I'd be here without them. It was really hard, but I want to thank my mom and my dad so much. Um, I want to thank my best friend who was always there when I needed her. And um, I want to thank Dr. Steinberg because I didn't even know if I felt like I would make it through college at that point. And now I feel like I'm going to be able to go to grad school. It's been eight months since McCormick had her surgery, and she says she feels a lot healthier and her quality of life has improved. Reporting in West Lafayette, Vinnie Martirano, News 18.